Hey guys, so we are in week one, round three, in uh, 3B, uh, 3GAC, and uh, so far I am 1-1 one and one this season. Um, yeah, you guys can check out uh, the previous round, it was really rough. Um, this round I'm up against a player called Zambo. He is from Rebel Force Kashyyyk. Uh, GP wise he's a bit uh, lower than me like with uh, 300k 1000k um, let's jump straight into it so I moved up uh, moved around a couple of teams um, as you can see it uh, it's around one and a half hour left from the att attacking phase he attacked early last night, killed my uh, great mother team, and then then he left. And after that, uh, I don't know, ten hours later, he came back. He dropped the battle against my uh, Leia, Kia Drogan, and then left it as it is. So this is my south wall. Um, moving up top, this is my top wall. Um, and this is my back wall. As for my ship, I left it as it is. So, um, let's check out his defense, which is going to be really rough. Um, so, that trooper, Moff Gideon, Great Mothers, Gungans, Kalanbeck, Trench. And then down south, he has Balen. This is the first time I'm going to face a uh, Balen team. And then Leia, Jabba, Lord Vader, Ray. So, yeah, this is going to be a nightmare. Right, so the first battle is going to be Seer uh, versus Ray. Um, this is what I've been doing over the past two rounds. Um, so far, it worked for me really well. Um, So I guess this is what I'm going to do from now. Um, obviously, uh, Ezra came out, so we have to wait and see uh, what's going to happen um, the second week. Um, I saw some tests and it looks like it's going to be, especially in 3v3, he's going to make things a bit more annoying. Um, but for now, as you guys can see, this is pretty straightforward. Now, some might say that, yeah, you're going to put together two teams into one, but hey, it worked for me. Um, now, the next one is uh, Bo Katan versus uh, Lord Vader and Maul. And Maul had uh, level 9 Kron. So, um, again, I never used this team before because. Well, against the GL. So, I was like, based on the data I had from uh, Swogada GG, um, this looked really promising. And because the defense was really strong, my uh, what my opponent said on the front wall, I had to use, I had to take some risks, basically. So, um, yeah, I went for it and... I'm not gonna lie, I, w I was really worried about the uh, mole level 9 data crumb because what it does is um, once it dies, he immediately revives and takes an extra turn. So, you know, that could be scary, but yeah, I'm, I'm starting to really like this team. Um, like, this is really solid. It was fairly easy. It's actually kind of sad to see um, Lord Vader being beaten so easily. Now, if you guys remember from the previous round, I used, uh, I tried to use Queen and Medalla versus Leia, but it didn't work out. So I was like, nope, I'm not going to um, risk it this time. I just 
went in straight with uh, Slicker. Um, and yeah, so far, I know it's not perfect, but um, I like it. Uh, having said that, um, because I'm right on the edge of uh, Kyber 1 and Kyber 2, um, I, ju I just managed to get uh, back to uh, Kyber 1 because because of my previous uh, runs loss, uh, I dropped back to dropped down to Kyber 2. So again, while there are a lot of whales here as well with big accounts. Um, I haven't faced an account yet up until this point who had uh, Great Mothers and Balon as well. So I was able to use this counter um, fairly easily without any consequences. But again, this round I'm facing a Great Mother and a Balon team as well. But I was like, I don't want to waste my Queen and Mandela. Uh, she's she looks like uh, that team is like really strong, um, and the slicker did work. But yeah, uh, the, this is really dicey. Like slicker is barely hanging on. Like I really need to go into ultimate as soon as possible, if I can. Like oh god. Again, I told you guys uh, during my previous video that. This one is going to be my uh, toughest opponent yet, and yeah, 49. That's not good. So speaking of Balen, um, he only had the leader Omicron, but I was like, I saw some mixed match uh, data, and I heard some feedbacks that this might work. Um, so. I'm using Cassian's uh, level 9 uh, Kron. Adred can just uh, dish out so many, um, so much uh, DPS, so I was like, maybe I can kill them off once I reach the 100% upload. Um, but obviously, I already lost Cassian, and now they are going all in on Adred, which isn't good. Um, now reach the upload. Valen went into the eye, so I was like, "Oh great!" But I was able to uh, kill Valen, so I was like, "Okay, great, that's a W." Um, so I sent in uh, Newt to clean it up after thinking about it a while because uh, the the Balen Crone is still active. Um, which is annoying, but I was like, uh, with all the extortion and uh, stuns, uh, this team should be able to uh, clean it up. But yeah, like Shin and my, uh, especially Shin, I was like really surprised by how much damage uh, she can do. But yeah, I was able to to shut it. Now. I wanted to save some teams, um, GLs to the back wall, so I figured um, I'm going to try this uh, thing. Like I know a lot of streamers and uh, other players are using uh, this G Steam, and it could very well work. Um, but I just, you know, you just need to set up the train. Which I wasn't able to do. Like, sure, the the plagues are uh, stacking up on the on them, but unfortunately, I cannot get around the Crescenten, and I need to take Bash out because, like, she's the main damage dealer. So obviously I'm using basics to call back Kassage. Here probably I made a mistake, I just wanted to stack another. Uh, and here, here 
maybe I did the biggest mistake. Um, Cause after I killed Kusantan, I might just, you know, um, just timed out. I should have timed out. But I was like, okay, go cool, that failed that cheese, so let's send in Lord Vader with my own um, mole level 9. So what I, obviously, I need to take out Bo uh, Bosch again, like first, like she needs to go. But, finally, I was able to at least increase her cooldown, because, you know, once she, she's, I'm not really worried about Lord Vader, right? the, the, but the thing is, once she starts to throw those, uh, Thermos and then blowing it up with her uh, special then that's when I'm going to start losing uh, people left and life and Also like mole is really f uh, fragile So yeah Obviously uh, uh, his data crown is going to save him at least once other than J uh, Jabba's ultimate, so finally uh, Bausch died, um, now I can go ham on uh, Crescenten, he finally died as well. Mole is barely hanging on, That those thermals are, uh, that, that's not good. Finally, uh, uh, yeah, good. see that was the uh, Datacron, he died but he came back so at least that's something and now I just want to build up his stacks to 5 again Also need to use Lord Vader's middle as many times as possible to ramp up his uh, damage because um, Yeah, Jabba is still a very uh, thick boy So now he's just Try to bur uh, burn his um, protection extra protection which we managed to do now it's just it's all about finishing the job it shouldn't be any problem really we still have two and a half minutes left there's no point rushing it Obviously in 3v3 Java barely able to uh, get to his contract, so yeah, this wasn't a problem. One more ultimate and that should be it. Yep. Nice clean up. So that's it, I was able to push through his front wall and let's see what he had at the back. Um, so he had that uh, Qui-Gon team, um, Queen Amidala, Saw with Luthor, uh, Mon Mothma with Pau, and uh, that gas with uh, Eat, Eat Cut. So I moved upstairs, um, and this is Treya versus uh, Gungans. Now, even when I was retired, I saw some streams that these Gungans can be uh, annoying and i might have misplayed it or, or, or i still don't understand how things work um but from what i know i need to kill the generator first or at least take it out not kill it um that's when i can finally kill the gungans if i'm wrong let me know down in the comments um Again, there are a lot of teams and kits I need to learn. Um, so yeah, uh, on hindsight I should have put the uh, isolate on uh, the tank. But that uh, Savage, uh, Savage uh, Omicron is really um, OP, so I wasn't worried about it, I mean... If anything, 
oh, again I might be uh, wrong about this but this is just the timeout team um, like nobody were any real danger, danger at all so yeah I took out uh, Jar Jar so he's off and after that let's just yeah I need to take it home which is fairly easy yeah I also put it on auto because at this point there's nothing he can do on, on his own so that's done 57 easy I done uh, versus this uh, trench team funny enough I was thinking about using Wampa again but um, I don't know based on the data I know I use this team uh, I use Wampa round one um, but I think it was with uh, Dooku not Nood so anyway when I was checking the data uh, from what I saw um, Wampa actually fails, fails against this team. I have no idea why. Um, like the percentage was re uh, really low. But this, this data cron, it was really annoying me. This is the level three with the evasion up. It's just annoying AF like. You can't hit note, like I was able to take out the rest of them without any problem whatsoever. But now, it's just... It's just really annoying. I can't say anything else, like... Every time I'm trying to land something, like a death mark... Yeah, I was like checking it, I mean, what the hell, like... Fine. It may be because the extortion was on, I'm not quite sure, but again, yeah. It's just annoying, because so as soon as I take uh, dispel the extortion, I was finally able to do some damage, so yeah. Um, next up was Reva versus this, Keller and Beck. Um, again, on paper. Inquisitions versus Jedi should be uh, pretty straightforward. Not quite sure about the 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 damage this team can dish out. Like if uh, if I were using something uh, less stronger, maybe it could have failed. I don't know. Um, to be fair, they were doing some real damage on Reva, like. But again, that that mark did the job really. And now it just can can do nothing really, other than strip stripping one, one banner from the UA, but Yeah. Oh boy. So okay. So uh, this battle again. I mean. At this point, again, I used used this team like the the third time. But if anything, it's just an annoying battle. Okay, it's just a standoff um, between the two teams. Like it's just so uh, durable. It's, it's just it's really annoying. Like, if, I mean, to be fair, like, uh, Dark Trooper uh, Moff Gideon can do some damage. Like, if he runs, ramps up, then, yeah, he can do some damage on Ma uh, Margus. And also, that revive from... Uh, Moff Gideon as well. It's annoying because obviously the OG Moff Gideon uh, Kron is still in play, and um, 
whenever he's use, using that special ability that uh, deals true damage, um, that can really, really hurt. So finally, it's just 1v, uh, 3v1. Now I just need to control it and take it home. 56, not bad. Um, again, this is my go-to counter. It's probably going to be, unless I find something cheaper that works as well against uh, this team. Um, Bane is just, it's just OP. Again, I said this before, but yeah, he's one of my favorite uh, Sith Lords from the Legends. Uh, yeah, I'm glad they made uh, CG made him uh, as OP as this because he should be. Um, I guess one thing I'm I'd like to see is her is he, uh, his first apprentice, um, Zana. She, she was also like, like, so powerful. Um, next up, okay, so again, this is uh, I think my second time I faced this uh, grand, uh, great mother's uh, team. Um, I know things could go wrong, but so far this feels like really safe. There's nothing to it. Um, I guess. Probably if, um, uh, if the great mothers go after cat or plow, then sure things can go wrong. But so far so good. I don't know what else to say. Um, once the great mothers are gone, this is just a cleanup. Obviously, Morgan as Brett can do some damage as well, but. Nothing, nothing special. Yep, all done, 56. Now next up, um, I know last round I used um, like this, this same exact uh, team. Um, against gas but it was with clones um, this time because uh, it cut was here with his uh, level 9 chrome um, I was like I don't want to take any risks and since my opponent <coughs> since my opponent was stuck um, on my front wall um, I was like why risk it Let's just overkill it. And now, this round that li finally I was able to link Gas and Eat Cut. So, and the Gas uh, took his first turn, lost his protection, and now I just need to kill off the two side tunes. Once they're gone, then they're gone, and then. Easy cleanup. You don't need to go into ultimate, that way you can save banners. One more basic from C should do it. Or two. Oh god, Snips is so annoying. Yep, done. And then that should do it. Yep. Fifty-seven. Next one is JML versus this uh, OG Qui Gon Qui Gon team. Um. 
obviously because there is a GL here um, Qui-Gon's uh, lead ability is not in play and 57 Now I'm going to use my own Moff uh, Gideon, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, against this uh, Saw Looter team. And this is actually really annoying. It turns out that this team is really uh, durable. Well, not so much durable, but they can do some uh, really nasty damage if you uh, if they get out of control. Because obviously, like OG Moff Gideon is like dishing out uh, damage left and right. Um, thanks to his Chrome, I'm really going to miss that. But as you guys can see, like, yep, they were they were doing some damage. So I'm glad that they that basically OG uh, Gideon was able to take them out. Now we need to talk about this thing. Um, I'm going to make some cuts uh, because. I know I had teams um, much stronger than this one, but I was like, in honesty, I was trying to uh, be cute uh, about it. Like I was like, no, I'm not going to use uh, Queen Amadella um, because if my opponent won't be able to full clear me, then uh, my run two opponents will have no idea if I set Queen Amidala on defense in run 3 or not. So I was like, okay, let's send in this... Well, I wouldn't say weak team, like, this is still a, a strong team, but because of Pau's uh, level 9 data crown, this team is just... It's just... OP. They just keep going and going. It's not so much about Pau, but uh, more like Captain Rex. Like... I wasn't able to take him out at all. And then Power Revive as well. So now he's here. He can boost the, the turn meter. So basically they're just going to run circles around me. I was like, I wasn't sure. I probably should have killed uh, Captain Rex, to be honest. But yeah, I made a cut because yeah, this wasn't working. So I was like, oh okay, that wasn't working. Let's end in gas. There's no revive. If I kill one of them, let's just do it. Um, well, <laughs> it turns out it wasn't enough. Like. I'm just dying left and right. I was like maybe um, gas can handle it, but they were dealing so much damage, and then that's it. So I was like, ah, oh. it, it was also getting late, and that's why you guys can see that I made a mistake sending in this team uh, without the uh, level nine uh, crown. So I was like, okay, great. And it was still annoying. Like, it was like, oh. So maybe I should have uh, taken this uh, team more seriously. Because sure, powers di die, because, but Captain Rex, Rex is just... It's just annoying. Like, look at that. One of my almost died. But Rex is just... And and this Rex team... Uh, Rex they, uh, didn't even have the Omicron. Which is crazy to me. Like, again, look. Power just... Laid down. From... From what? From one hit from... Uh, Padawan... Uh, Kenobi. And then... But Rex, Rex is still hanging on there. 
again I did in brought in the datacron that should have been a lot easier so yeah now for ships again I failed with this round one this is uh, this was a seven star um, uh, punishing one so I'm using the exact same uh, strat that I use round one. The only difference is they didn't focus down Anakin. So now I can do what I wanted to do round one. Actually round two. Not round one because round one I didn't even attack ship. So that's it. You just need to focus down the punishing one. And then once it's gone then you can do your thing and that, uh, that's why I hate ships it's RNG sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I'm probably going to lose plow Hans to death, calling uh, Eben Hawk to delay the contract. Now it's just uh, Razor Crest. Yep, replow. Full sand. And that's it. Nice and easy. 70. Now look at that because I was running really low on time um, I was like okay cool I'm just simply going to use Empire uh, versus this uh, Malevolence and then I was like why the hell um, Sai didn't uh, spawn the, uh, the, full, uh, the two TIE pilots and then I realized it was because um, I was using the finalizer. Oh god. I was like, oh, okay, great. I was finally able to take out that executor. And then. Now. I'm going to lose against Malevolence. This is just so annoying. So, yeah, I was like, okay. Let's try to do our best. Obviously, because we are now all of these ships are Empire ships. It doesn't matter because uh, the basics not going to call them in. So gauntlet's gone. Oh, I need I need some more damage. So I'm call trying to call in some big hitters. So at least I killed somebody. That's something. But yeah, this is just a slug fest. I'm trying to take out Hyena uh, Bomber. Um, or try to kill somebody, really. At this point, I wasn't like trying to win I was like just hopefully can take out some of these ships so uh, which are going to make my job easier as a cleanup but now I was like oh, okay maybe maybe I can do something but but then malevolence uh, used uh, its ultimate and spy was still there so in just a single move I, I lost two of my ships so I was, the, was like uh, this is not good but finally I was getting dodges left and right so now I was like okay let's stall um, until a, a spy comes out from uh, stealth 
then I should be able to take spy out and once spy goes then that should be it. And yeah, all the droids are gone. Plus droids. Oh god, what a mess. And finally, um, Malevolence versus Redis. Now I know Zora's ship came out um, while I was away. Um, honestly, it, it looks really annoying. If I'm not mistaken, uh, her ship is an attacker. But if I'm wrong, do let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, um, she ca she can do some damage, which uh, it, it really did hurt me in the previous round. Um, like here as well, like rip. She called the mass assist and they just burned through my soundtrack. So here I'm trying to take out great ships, so I was like, okay, cool. Then I lost a hyena bomber. <laughs> it's just a slug fest. It's like uh, having a, bo a box match inside the ring. Like, you take a shot, your opponent takes a shot, and then we were both losing ships left, left and right. So now it's just 4v2. I was like, I need to call in a ship because with my luck, I'm going to lose uh, a spy, and then that's it. Then, thank God, her Zora ships was gone. So I was like, okay, please let me win before Redis eats both of our cap uh, capital ships out. Okay, good. So, yeah. That was it, I was able to get the four clear for the first time this season and um, I'm two and one. That's how I finished my comeback week. Um, yeah, he didn't attack. After after the first, uh, what was it? Uh, I think, he, yeah, he attacked once and then um, a couple of hours later uh, again and then after that he just gave up and probably after he saw that I managed to full clear him like you guys can see it on the top left corner um, that yeah only five minutes left so I left it really late um, that's because I was editing uh, the previous video uh, the round two video and I managed to uh, finish it really late um, so yeah this is how my uh, season ended, 2 and 1, I'm back in Kyber again, um, obviously next week uh, the round 2 is going to be a lot more difficult, um, because once, well, for once Ezra is, Ezra is uh, in play and I'm going to face a lot more uh, Balen and the Great Mother team, so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that subscribe uh, to my channel comment down below how was your uh, week one and uh, i see you guys uh, on uh, saturday when i'm going to post my uh, round one video take care guys bye